Have you ever dreamt of having those big, bulging muscles that turn heads at the gym? And have you ever stopped thinking about what's actually going on when your muscles grow? And is there some secret sauce to speed up that growth? Here I am about to spill all the juicy details you need to pump up those muscles. Plus, I will also sort out the age-old debate, is there really a difference between muscle strength and muscle size? Watch this video till end to get all your answers. So, let's dive right in. Body. Before we talk about the real deal, it's essential to get the basics about muscle types right. And no, I'm not talking about the different types of muscle fibers here. You might be thinking, wait, what's he talking about? Trust me, this is even more foundational. So, there are three main types of muscle tissues in our body, smooth, cardiac, and skeletal muscles. Now, let's break these down in a no-nonsense way. First up, smooth muscles. They're found in places like your stomach and blood vessels, working tirelessly without you even noticing. I mean, they are like having a personal assistant who never takes a break, that's your smooth muscles. Fun fact, the largest smooth muscle mass in the human body is the uterus. It contracts involuntarily during menstrual cramps and labor. During labor, moms push with their abdominal muscles, helping the uterus out. And the smooth muscle can grow bigger through hyperplasia, increasing cell number, and hypertrophy, increasing cell size. For example, during pregnancy, the uterus expands because smooth muscle cells divide and grow larger. Next up, we have cardiac muscles. These are what make our heart and they keep our ticker ticking, pumping blood non-stop, 24-7. That's an important job, isn't it? Unlike smooth muscle, cardiac muscle cells can't divide. If they're damaged, like during a heart attack, they don't regenerate. Instead, they get replaced by scar tissue, which isn't as efficient. So, how does the heart get stronger? Through hypertrophy. You heard that right, it is similar to smooth muscle in this regard. Now, let's talk about skeletal muscles, the real stars of the show. These are the muscles you flex in front of the mirror, the ones that make you look good in a tank top. They are called skeletal muscles because they are attached to your bones and are responsible for all your voluntary movements, from lifting weights to dancing at a party. Here is an interesting fact about this type of muscles, you can control them voluntarily unlike smooth and cardiac muscles. Like cardiac muscles, skeletal muscle cells also can't divide. However, satellite cells, the small stem cells, can fuse with muscle cells to help repair and grow muscle tissue. This isn't enough to fully replace significant damage, though, which is why damaged muscle often gets replaced by scar tissue. Alright, I have mentioned hypertrophy already, and it's time to drop some real knowledge on you about it and why it's important for muscle gain. So, hypertrophy is just a fancy term for increasing muscle size, and guess what? Lifting weights is the go-to method to achieve it. Now, there are two types of muscular hypertrophy you need to know about. Number 1, myofibrillar hypertrophy that is all about growing the parts of your muscles that actually contract. Number 2, sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, that is increasing the storage of glycogen in your muscles. Both types are key for muscle growth, but which one should you focus on? It is the million dollar question. Myofibrillar training boosts strength and speed. On the other hand, sarcoplasmic growth is your ticket to lasting energy during endurance events. So, do you want to be faster than a speeding bullet or have the stamina to run a marathon? That's a tough decision, right? Well, no matter what you decide, there is one thing which is common for both, you will have to perform repetitive muscular activity, like, weightlifting or doing resistance training, for either type. It makes the decision-making process a bit simpler, don't you think? And coming to the next important thing, how to build muscle and increase muscle size by hypertrophy. Here is the deal, if you are a beginner, you can see improved strength and increase muscle size by doing various reps and set schemes. It is as simple as that. As you advance, you would surely need to do more, and you can divide your training plan into two paths, one is working on boosting strength and the other is focusing on hypertrophy. You can do the both and here is how. For strength training, you can choose to do power lifting. To be more specific, you will need to involve heavier weight, fewer reps, longer rest periods and compound exercises. For hypertrophy, you can use higher reps, shorter rest periods, more sets and a mix of compound and isolation exercises. There are some who choose to follow any one of the paths mentioned above. For instance, powerlifters and bodybuilders both have large muscles, 
but their training leads to different muscle appearances functions. But in general fitness routines, combining elements of both types of training can lead to balanced muscle development. Keep pushing your limits to see ongoing growth and increased definition. Now go out there and crush it. And if you like this video, why don't you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more amazing fitness and health related content. Thank you for watching.